Time now for Utah's most accurate forecast with Caesar Corneo, weather rate certified 10 years in a row. And you know, Caesar, looking at the cold temperatures, I'm thinking this New Year's might be the perfect time to just celebrate inside in your PJs. It just <laughs> looks brutal out there. Courtney, it really is. We see some of that wind blowing in as well, so that makes it even feel colder here outside the ABC4 News studio, seeing some clearing skies. And what does that mean? Well, we're going to cool down. And that'll really be the main story besides the spotty showers that continue for certain parts of the higher elevations. We still have some advisories and warnings in place. Again, avalanche danger is going to be present this entire weekend. And in general, it will be quite cold also. Looking at temperatures, 19 degrees in Salt Lake City at the moment, 9 degrees in Logan, seeing a lot of cold air continuing to really push in, and that's something that's going to continue throughout the rest of tonight. Still sitting at 41 in St. George, but will continue to drop as well. Seeing that the snow showers really are focused towards southern Utah, that's where most of this activity driven by this weather system continues to be. We'll see some later on lake effect snow, and that's why we still have this winter weather advisory for parts of Tooele the Tooele Valley and the Salt Lake Valley because of how it sets up throughout the overnight hours. Also for the higher elevations of southern Utah, we can expect to see snow, the I-15 corridor partially in there, parts of Cedar City and even some parts of Washington County for the higher elevations. Again, this will this system will continue to drag on through and it'll bring some snow showers. But by the time we get towards that 6 a.m. hour, we'll see clouds, but that can also end up letting that snow band really develop. But after that, we'll have high pressure that has that inversion building in for us once again. And we'll take a wider look here now for the rest of the West. Well, we'll see that this one system starts to move on in and slowly bring us some more shower activity that should help us really alleviate us from that inversion really and blow out that smog. Looking at the lake effect snow again, this is how it's going to end up spreading out. It'll shift a bit, but at the same time, still really seeing the west side of the valley and the Tooele Valley, including the Ochres. So that's where we're expecting to see that extra accumulation. Regional forecast for tonight and tomorrow. Very chilly overall as we have those lows in the teens and single digits and even negatives in Elko. But St. George, we're going to stay a little bit on the milder side. Temperature still pretty cold in the 30s heading into the next work week. Pretty dry and slowly warming up. Similar story here for the Wasatch Front, except we're going to be a bit on the colder side, seeing that inversion really taking hold by Monday. Tuesday, the winds should start to help change and mix that out by the time we get towards the rest of the week. Not going to see much in that real heavy precipitation.